Good morning, sixth grade. It's Monday, March 8th. Please make sure you have your math notebook, a writing utensil, and a calculator handy. If not, pause the video and go get those, and then we'll begin in prayer. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful, and kindle them in the fire of your love. Send forth your spirit, and they shall be created, and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant that by the same Holy Spirit we may be truly wise and ever enjoy his consolations. Through Christ our Lord, amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit, amen. Okay, so you have a warm-up. Um, we are showcasing Clara's dog, Roka. She is a Shih Tzu Yorkie mix. And she is so cute. She looks like if there's much more snow there, she's going to get buried, though. She looks like a little tiny dog. Okay, so, but she says, pause the video and do the warm-up. And I agree with her. So go ahead and solve those two problems and then come on back. Okay, so let's take a look at these um, warm-up problems. Number one said to write 14% as a fraction and, and as a decimal. Now, use your little um, foldable if you need to. If you don't remember the rules yet, use that. Have that um, handy throughout this whole unit so that um, you know, you've got that um, to help you remember those rules. We're going to be, you need to be able to turn um, numbers, convert numbers between fractions, decimals, and percents um, throughout this entire unit. So. Okay, so 14% is a fraction. To write a number as a fraction, the rule is to drop the percent sign and put the fraction over 100, or the number over 100. So this becomes 14 over 100. So I'm not quite done though, because I can reduce this. And so if I divide by two, I end up with seven over 50, and then that I can't reduce any further. So seven over 50 is 14% written as a fraction. Okay, now we're gonna write it as a decimal. To write a percent as a decimal, we drop the percent sign and we move the decimal place two places to the left. So for the number 14, remember the decimal place is right there. And so I'm going to move it two places to the left and so it ends up there. So it is 0.14 or 0 0.14 if you wanna have that leading zero. And that's 14% um, that's written as a decimal, all right? Number two um, was I gave you a number 1.225 and I said write that as a fraction and as a percent. Okay, now to write it as a fraction. This is a number that's bigger than one, right? It's 1.225. So I have a hole, okay, this is a hole here and then I have a, a decimal, right? So we're going to write this as a mixed number. This is a one and 225 thousandths. Remember to write a decimal as a, as a fraction, we read the decimal and put that um, and write that number over the appropriate place value. So that is 225 thousandths. Now we can reduce that um, 225, um, I can divide by 25 on top and bottom. And so that's going to be 225 divided by 25 is 9. And 1,000 divided by 25, oh, I should know that off the top of my head, and I don't. So I'm just going to get out my handy dandy calculator. And let's see, 1,000 divided by 25 is 40. And so 1.225 written as a fraction is one and nine fortieths. Okay. Now let's write it as a percent. To write a decimal, th this is a decimal, even though it's a it's a big decimal, but it's a decimal. To write it as a percent, we move the decimal place two places to the right, and we add the percent sign. So I'm going to go one two, and I have one. 122.5%. Okay, so we worked on these all last week. Hopefully, um, you're starting to feel some confidence with turning numbers um, into fractions, decimals, and percents or converting between them. And again, if you're still, you know, still learning, that's okay. Have that foldable handy and use it when you need to. All right, let's talk about today's lesson. Okay, so today our essential questions are still um, 
talking and learning about what is a percent. Hopefully that you've got a good answer to that question now. A percent, remember, is basically a fraction out of 100, right? It's, it's taking a number and it's looking at it as a fraction out of 100. And then how do proportions relate to percents? We're going to spend some time on that today because our objective is to use the percent proportion. So I'm going to explain what the percent proportion is here in just a second. Um, we're going to focus on finding the percentage or the part of a number using the percent proportion. So we'll be working with the percent proportion all week this week, um, looking at the different parts of it and um, solving problems with the different parts of it. So hopefully by the end of the week, you're feeling really good about the percent proportion. Okay, so let's talk about the percent proportion. But before we do that, we need to remember what is a percent. A percent is just a fraction out of 100. And so uh, if I say I have 50%, I have 50 out of 100, right? 50% is 50 out of 100. It's percent is per cent, right? Or per 100. Okay, so a percent is a part per 100. So I could say it's my percent, if I'm given a percent, it's that number over 100. What the per percent proportion says is that I can find a percent. A percent is just an equivalent fraction to any other fraction. And what is a fraction? A fraction is a part over a whole. Right? So if I have um, a pizza and it's cut into eight slices, if I eat two pieces of the pizza, right, I've eaten two out of eight pieces of the pizza, right? That's a part of a whole. Well, I could ask the question what percent of the pizza did I eat? Well, the percent is basically finding an equivalent fraction out of 100. That's all it is. It's saying, well, I have this pizza that's um, been divided into eight pieces, but what if that pizza was divided into 100 pieces? How many of them would I have eaten then? So it's a, a part out of 100. It's an equivalent fraction. And that's how we get our percent proportion, OK? The percent is the part um, over a whole compared to 100, basically put into a fraction out of 100, all right? Now, today, we're, I'm not going to solve this pizza problem because we're actually not solving for the percent today. Today, we're going to, so we've got three, we've got four days this week. We're going to spend today focused on the part. Tomorrow, we'll focus on the percent. And then on Wednesday, we'll focus on the whole. And then on Thursday, we're going we're gonna to review them all, OK? So we're going to be spending today looking at finding the part, finding a part of a whole, OK? So let's look at a problem. This is a word problem. All of your homework assignment um, is not word problems, but I think this is a good problem to help us understand the percent proportion. So let's say that 15% of high school sophomores um, in a class of 188. OK, there's 188 students in um, 188 sophomores in that class. So 188 students, 15% um, of them want a career in theater. OK, so 15 percent of that class of 188 want to have a, a career in theater. Well, the question is, how many students want that?